ஹலோ கண் யூ ஹியர் மீ ஹலோ சுகவனம் ஹாய் டேமஸ் சாப்பிட்டீங்களா ஹலோ கண் யூ ஹியர் மீ யா யா வி கேன் ஹியர் யூ குட் ஓகே யூ ஹேட் லன்ச் யா நைஸ் லன்ச் थैंक यू சோ वी आर नॉट गोइंग टू लेट द पीपल स्लीप नाउ इसंट इट दैट्स आवर जॉब नाउ ऑलराइट ओके सो हार्डिंग्स अप्रोच इज इट नो इट्स अ सेलम अप्रोच muthu sarvana kumar uh, explained the hardinge approach okay. kevin hardinge uh, he picked it up from the swiss and uh, he put it in lateral and called it hardinge approach in writing turn but actually it is a swiss lateral approach but what we have modified okay. uh, over the period of time okay so it's like sort of limited part of that mm-hmm. i i call it as a supero antero lateral approach but now uh, all my trainees they call it now uh, salem sugavanam approach so Great. i'll show you how i do it yeah patient uh, on lateral position patient on lateral position uh, this is the head end you can see that this okay. is this is the head end young lady you heard the history so this is the tip of the greater trochanter 4 inches above below this is almost double than my usual incision okay. for the demonstration i have done this okay so this is the case uh, vignesh discussed in the <coughs> x-ray templating all right okay okay so so this coxa vera it's a 124 is the opposite hip okay okay so most probably we will be using a low offset cemented uh, stem on the femoral side um so the most of the concentration is uh, for this discussion it's going to be on the acetabulum side okay the acetabulum side and the uh, achieving the length how you are going to do and how you are going to bring down that's right yes so young girl unmarried okay so even i was trying to postpone the surgery but she is really suffering so much she just wouldn't discuss any other option you, you said cemented femoral stem because it is 124 degree okay we don't have a low offset uncemented all right okay sir in your preoperative planning what are the things you have in your mind sir apart from the uh, offset uh-huh. and the femoral stem so the acetab- are- acetabulum side yeah it's not um, completely uh, shallow there I, i should be able to reach the original floor Yeah. and the tear drop lower point fairly easily i i feel yeah. but how much the femur is going to come down is the question that we need to work on it so in your approach what are the things you want to release uh, to get the length the, this at this level approach it's it's a pretty much the same yeah. and then uh, the gluteus medius from the ilium i will be teasing it off with the perios elevator and uh, do a complete uh, capsular release much more than what i use chanlim okay. Mo- what <coughs> much more than what i do for a routine thr okay calculate it fill in the logical valid valid inge vechittu valid okay the limb is slightly externally rotated okay so this is the vet- vastus lateralis the marker point go to nikal mele vechi konjam illa okay this is the anti trochanter this is the glute gluteus so curved arteries so the horizontal fibers are the gluteus vertical fibers is the uh, this thing marker point the original hardinge approach as he described okay like that i have seen that in writing ten not by hardinge himself but this it goes up to the posterior third of the gluteus medius like this and uh, vastus lateralis okay this like a uh, uh, 1 3 4 inches of vastus lateralis gluteus medius 2 third that was the original approach but you know the how or well you repair you will end up in a lang and uh, trellenberg abductor insufficiency poor healing so what we uh, slowly all of us have uh, 
try to reduce it so i was angapur calling you to action rotation so what i do this was uh, in southampton university as for one of my boss george well used to say it has to remain medius it should not become mincemeat like a kotu kari at the end of your procedure okay so what i do here i limit what i am going to expose that is anterior third so top third post third remaining intact we don't bother to see from here like a u i elevate it with the tissue like that so i make sure the split goes this way because when you are manipulating if you don't do this part the dissection will go through the superior part we don't want that and it's all the way up to the bone right from beginning okay external rotation the assistant keeps externally rotating it external rotation very so the entire curve then all these tissues between gluteus medius minimus capsule pub of ligaments all that we raise yeah. it in one piece you are not touched vastus lateralis no i don't touch the vastus lateralis you don't need to i mean this is a dysplastic hip but uh, i may have to do to do some release this thing but in my routine uh, hips definitely i don't touch it so now i'll analyze very tripite irukum okay this so, is your routine approach for all it? hips Yes, this is my routine approach for all my hips, including hemiarthroplasty. Including hemiarthroplasty. Good. So I go along the walk along the neck up to the acetabulum, then take a homans. Okay, one put it along the inferior neck. No tissues removed. They are all only separated. okay this this is the second homans on the superior part of the neck okay i have just incised all the way up to the 11 uh, sort of from here in the clockwise uh, 11 o'clock and that's the labrum so i incise them from nine i do in a routine case i many times i don't remove whole of the labrum i just want to remove the labrum to see what i want to see in this case may i may have to remove more than what i usually do okay so i just make a multiple tiny incisions okay capsule you don't need to repair when you close it it will fall in its place it will be nicely so uh, you don't need to separately repair it so in this particular case i am doing this release what dr singaravel was asking me what i am going to do more for this case here yeah here cap okay very nice elevator is the visibility okay uh, yeah it is really nice very okay. clear yeah sure no the audio visual director peter says i am big headed okay this is the release i am doing extra in this case and uh, as we have discussed vignesh discussed this case only in the x ray templating what we are here nearly a, uh, for a 7 mil, 8 mm it's osteophyte protruding osteophyte it, the real floor is there okay there's a small perius elevator i tend to elevate it so you are elevating the reflected head of the rectus sorry reflected head of the head of rectus femoris you are uh, elevating yes and the gluteus medius also see this is gluteus medius okay i am on the bone i don't want to sub the tissue okay i should be able to dislocate now 
without difficulty. So I'm just releasing the soft tissues here. This is the inferior capsule. So how much the preoperative shortening, sir? Preoperative shortening. Uh, that was in the chart. Sorry, I can't remember offhand. Yes, Kabilan, you can. Two, two centimeters. centimeters. Okay. So that's a protuberant osteophyte on the femoral side. If you have difficulty, you can remove it and then dislocate it. But I think I should be able to dislocate it. See, I have not removed much tissue, it's all more incision. Okay, we'll try to dislocate without removing it. Oh, traction, hmm. that's right, here yeah, it's coming. Okay, good, okay. So I don't need to remove the vastus lateralis even in this case. Uh, nibbler, please. If I had difficulty, I would have uh, chiseled off the anterior osteophyte before dis, uh, dislocating it, but this came fairly easily, so I am doing this. So I am going to do a very low neck cut to the level of lesser trochanter. What would be the consequences of that uh, can be discussed now. Vijay, Vijay is there, Bose? He is here. He is here. He is here. Yeah, Sugunam, uh, Vijay here. Yeah. So yes. Salem approach was very nice. Yeah. No, you have just start. <laughs> you have to see it getting close. Then only the medius reminds the medius, not minimus. Minimus. Okay. <laughs> So here I'm a bit releasing uh, versus lateral is in this particular case. Usually I don't need to do this. Same in You know, the uh, choice of stem, uh, yeah. you said that uh, it's Coxa uh, Vera. Yes, that 124. No, no. Um, that is, well, um, Two, two different things actually, you know. So then you said that you need to have a low offset, is that correct? Yeah. Well, coxavera and the high offset actually goes together. Okay. So um, what we are missing here is, just like we talk about uh, socket center, there is a head center in any hip. Mm. So this patient has got a very low head center. Mm. It's quite independent of uh, coxavera valga. Okay. Know? But usually, usually coxavera and high offset goes together, coxavalga and low offset. Rarely you may have the reverse combination as well. But um, I wish we could see the x-rays again. Um, um, you can show it in the, um, uh, the <coughs> x-ray coming up. Um, so, um, you know, cutting at uh, lesser trochanter uh, may not be a good idea, Sukhanam. I don't think uh, that is the... We won't lengthen her anyway. Okay. So, the... Um, oh, this is definitely okay. So, the, um, the general uh, rule of thumb is... Ah, there you are. So, he's got a... You can see that, you know, the on the other side, I got it, yeah. So, on the other side, uh, even the other side, the head center lies slightly below the tip of the GD. That's correct. So, so in 80% of the patients, so this this is this can also be independent of Cox Avera Valga. That's a that's an independent parameter. Okay. But here you got a low head center mm -hmm. that is below the level. So 80% of the people, the head center will correspond to the tip of the GT. Some people will be above, some people will be low. In this patient, because it is lower on the other side, it's an advantage that you know you don't have to do uh, too much uh, about that. And uh, you just need to, you know, you know, put a correct stem do the standard things and things will fall into place in this patient, I think. I think so. There's no need to do anything uh, out of the ordinary here. Yeah. Okay. So that's, that's the greater trochanter. Okay, I can feel the lesser trochanter. So I go a finger breadth 
above that yes i think that would be the uh, the option yeah okay so please so uh, leg is vertical so make sure i cut it in equal anterior and posterior so for the benefit of the younger surgeons uh, could you show uh, the trial and where the head is off sorry trial if you, if you can have a template okay for the stem hmm so we are able to trial a kudunga with the matter like idu no vendam idu head oda kudu neck and head oda this is standard le this 135 cemented vechirukinga le okay Vignesh, is that what you want? Yes, sir. Okay. Okay, so this is along the stem. So this is 135 standard. So if I cut it here, my uh, tip, uh, the center of the head will be uh, to this level. Okay, sir. Okay, that is above, nearly a centimeter above the tip of the trochanter. So okay. that's the reason I was wanted to cut bit low cut that much okay that will correspond to uh, tip or slightly higher but we may lengthen her a bit more than the other opposite side but you are talking about in few millimeters okay sir thank you what what stem is this S stem we have a coral design 135 and then uh, cemented 120 125 with the right, yeah. so so the neck shaft angle is an independent parameter and you must choose a neck shaft angle of the process close to what your neck shaft angle that that you want in that patient yeah that, that, yeah that's correct uh, it is independent of offset so i would think uh, a 127 would be a better option here for sure yeah okay So another uh, common mistake that people, most people make is they, ha they have only one stem, you know, for example, they use the choroid is 135 for all patients. So say, suppose somebody patient has got a 127 degree angle and they use a 135, you may get the leg length right, but that's not the entire biomechanics. So we now know that uh, the neck shaft angle is an important parameter which you have to respect. Now that we have stems which are, you know, 127 we have, 131 we have. So, as we keep refining, we have to move towards, respect the neck shaft angle and move towards a more closer that your, to your native neck shaft angle. Very important, I think. Okay, steam and pen. So, so, both the neck shaft angle and the center of rotation has to be restored, the native. This is at 12 o'clock, I steam and pen on a drill. This is like basically a retractor and a reference line for me the vertical uh, plane because sometimes the pelvis tilts in spite of all your good efforts so I make sure this acts as my reference and it acts as a retractor also okay okay now I shift the chandlis Loosen, please. Thank you. Uh, Suganam, sir. I am, yeah. I am Dr. Prince. I have yes. a doubt regarding your approach. Yeah. The, the V, the U-shaped approach, the upper, up the upper V, the upper limb of the V, is it uh, going between uh, gluteus medius and the tensor facial letter? Uh, sorry, you are talking about gluteus maximus and tensor facial letter? No, gluteus medius, the upper limb, the upper limb. Here? Uh, yeah. 
No, no, it is in the gluteus medius anterior fourth. Okay, so it's not between a… Yeah, anterior fourth. The original Hardinge describes which it removes two-third. I remove… Uh, I dissect along the… Uh, around the twenty-twenty-five percent. Okay. Okay. So here you can see, before going into the acetabulum, I want to remove these protuberant osteophytes so that we know where exactly the real source, source will, the superior surface start. Okay, so you take a homan retractor, just put it on the medial wall and just walk along, walk along where it dips, you have your TAL, teardrops, all that. You, you should not push it too much inside, internal iliac vessels are there for you. So, in a regular case, this will nicely open up. Here I am going to release the posterior capsules, I mean the capsules all around for Susma for a better exposure. When you are doing an anterolateral approach, better not to put any uh, langen back on the anterior side. <coughs> you release the structures on the anterior side and put a homan, which is close to the bone, because Nebulous. putting a langen back, uh, langen back can cause a femoral palsy. Sir, so uh, uh, sorry, uh, can you come again? Yeah, see, I will prefer putting a. Uh, I, I will not prefer putting a langen back on the anterior side because it can cause the a femoral this, uh, palsy. Okay. So it's better to put a. <coughs> Something close to the bone. Okay, uh, like a bone lever yeah, yeah. retracted. Yeah, Re release the uh, rectus, uh, reflect parts of the, uh, part of the rectus from the anterior, uh, inferior spine mm -hmm. and uh, release rectus and, yeah, that's it. Put like that? Yeah, put a home on, yeah, that's it. Especially at the 11 o'clock position. That will be safer for the femoral nerve. Sure, thanks. And obviously, it's a much bigger incision, more extensive exposure than a for a original, uh, for a regular case. So that's the tail. Charlie. So I, I take a long Chanley curate, remove all the soft tissues. Medial wall is very weak. Middle of a chilling attraction, put up by the either traction. I just want how much I'm able to pull it down. So that's I'm on the tip of the truck enter. Yeah, traction, traction. Okay. Okay. Nearly ten millimeter, twelve millimeter below the rim of the acetabulum. I think 
that should be the length restored that will almost point to the center of the head. Okay, not too bad. I don't think I need to do any more extensive release. I'll just do the femoral side release a bit when I come to the femur. Do you agree with that or should I do any more release to get more… Uh, Sir, have you released the posterior capsule completely? Yes, I have. Okay. I'll, I'll show you. Turn around. The posterior femoral I'll release now in another figure of Marimba Pudum. This is posterior femoral side I am releasing. Yeah. Very sorry. Okay. Back. Yeah. John Lee, please. The head um, grafted the graft Maria to a chicken nibbler put a bowl of power down. Forceps. Okay, Raymer Kuruma. Then I say, sir. So that's for the beginners. See that goes parallel with my Steinman pin, that's a neutral. From here, 10 to 15 degrees antiversion, that's the inclination, okay? Yeah. So you want to bias the reamer little posteriorly? Sorry? You wanted to bias the lever little posteriorly, you feel that the posterior bone is little better because I could see that uh, you are pushing the lever little on the posterior aspect. Anywhere you want to bias the lever or push it in one… Yeah, that, that's what I'm checking now. Yeah. I'm… the medial wall is very thin, almost is crackling, there's a little hole there. When we are doing an anterior, anterior lateral approach, there is always a tendency to ream more anterior. Yeah. It's the femoral so push on the… Push it on the so posterior. So, I always make sure that you push Bias. it a little bit posterior. Yeah, I want to make sure it is not going anterior. Let okay. me put it that way. Okay, yeah. So, I am holding the yeah. holder towards that's me. Yeah, that's what That's, that's the point you are saying. Okay, yeah, that's, that's right. right. Exactly. Oh. Perfect. Perfect. This is 38, huh? 40, okay, next. In a very sclerotic bone like this, 
and particularly we get a blunt reamers sometimes. So I make multiple drill holes so that the reamer bites. I am a bit worried about the medial. So is it the floor, true floor of the establum or uh, yeah, where you are passing? That's a quadrilate plate. I can feel that next next to the TAL, but there, there is a small gap that admits my tip of the finger. Okay, that is uh, maybe four or five millimeters. You want to reach that place or? Uh, uh, I want to bone graft it. Oh. Okay. You don't want to go up to that place? No. Okay. Because nice sclerotic roof I have. See the contact between the metal and the bone surface. Here it's going to be a bit compromised, maybe about 5-10 percent or so, but uh, nibbler please. Let me get my true superiors to see how much I can. So that depression is not the true floor. You Sorry? Know, that depression what we see, we are able to see that, that yes. is not the true floor. That is not the true floor of the SWM. This is the point, this is it, no, true floor is here. Yeah, so you have to go up to that, no sir? Yeah, yeah, I have to, but I want to make sure I don't want to touch the sigmoid colon <laughs> because it is very soft and there is a hole there. The reamers, if I am not careful, so I want to put the bone graft. I just want to make sure this Please focus the X-ray again. Yeah. Can we just see the X-ray once more? Yeah. City not taken. I think. Okay. Thank you. Yeah, we can go to the field. But it's nice curatings I am getting. So I am I am approaching the medial floor, but yeah. I don't want to push it. Okay. Bone graft at the bro. Forty-four. But ceramic head there, clear. LSI is thirty-two. She, uh, she is only 24, right? <coughs> she is only 24. So I think it's better to preserve the bone, both on the anterior posterior side and on the medial side. So it's better to put a small size. Like 48, 50, 40, 50. No, we have to go to the true yeah, floor. There, there is no compromise on going to the true floor. You have to go to the true floor and 100% of the patients. No compromise on that. Medial laterally, yes, you have to, uh, sorry, anterior posterior, you have to preserve bone. You have to put a small size. But the depth is fixed for all patients. You cannot lateralize it. It's poor biomechanics. Yeah, poor and uh, high failure rates with the lateralization. And high failure rates with the lateralization. High failure rates. Wash. Yeah, I, I am going to the medial floor. When I saw that hole, I was a bit uh, concerned. I should. There's a chance for me to break into that. So I'm trying to maintain my reamer more anteriorly. Sorry, more posteriorly. And I don't want to suddenly dip in, you know, sometimes it happens. So I'm slowly approaching the medial floor. This sclerotic bone, it was not as bad as I thought. Or, or the reamer is good. So I'm again touching and feeling. I'm almost at the medial wall. Good, okay. This is 46 head. Sorry, Rima. Yeah, now I am on the middle floor. You can see it is uh, from the lateral wall, it dipped in and it is curating it. I don't want to push it anymore. Is it 40? 48 uh, trial, pa. 32 head, then. Eh? 48 and 32, then, pa. Okay. Watch 
Shankaralingam, you are happy with my established reaming floor? Should I ream more? Yes, sir. What do you say? Uh, He's yeah, happy. Yeah, it's almost, almost there at the floor. It yeah. Maybe a millimeter or uh, two. That's, That's fine. right. That's yeah. fine. Yeah. It's a bit of a soft tissue there. Yeah. No, there was a big sclerotic ridge there, so which I have uh, removed it. Okay. Now we are looking at the middle floor there. Okay. Okay, trial. I want to try 48. Con considering her young age, do you want to bone graft the medial wall? Sir? Yes, I'm, the, my, the head is getting bone graft, uh, getting ready. Yeah, that was my worry. That's why I initially said I want to bit shy away from the medial for that moment. But now the, scler the sclerotic bone gave in fairly easily. So, we are at the fairly hemispherical uh, shape. Hit it, please. What was the cup size templated? 48, I think. 48. Yeah. Hit it. Okay. Leave it. So, when, when, you, when I see a gap like this, you know, this is osteophyte and uh, I'll check whether there's any gap uh, in, towards the medial wall, central fit is not there. So, either I can go a bit smaller size and try that, come back, particularly in this uh, <coughs> medial wall break, 46 per. Wash. What, what cup is this? No, no. Cup is, uh, company. 46. No, no. What company make is it? TTK. TTK, okay. Now, what's the brand name? Pa? Transition cup. Transition cup. Okay, okay hit it. Like forty-eight. Oh, Suction, please. Forty. See, I reamed up to 46. This is the 48. Uh, peripheral fit is not, and centrally also no. I'm going to ream 46 again to deepen it a bit more.
okay okay so it's holding better okay i'm happy with the 48 still it's not perfect but this is as much as i can get i don't want to put a bigger cup it's already looks slightly bigger than the ins wobbles a bit okay wash kudu pa 48 cup va screws pollam and bone graft um sir can it be reamed little bit more and uh, deepened sorry can it be deepened little bit more with 46 and then push it little bit because one or two millimeters it looks uh there is osteophyte also you mean here the osteophyte yeah, yeah. the cup is still seen so can we ream a little bit more with 46 and then push it a little bit in deepen it so that the catcher will be little better yeah but see we are on the medial wall i'm just bit worried that a defect in the medial wall becomes can you put a k wire or a drill bit and see how how deep is it that medial no i can feel it with my hand uh, it's, it's going in it's going in oh right it's going there is a defect it's like the mexican cap defect in chandli so that's why i'm bit uh, cautious in uh, not going bit more medial see there up to there is fine there's one or two millimeters but after that it goes in i can even f- feel my hand it's about 5 6 millimeter uh, defect okay ah point lamba 48 yeah open so this is the bone graft we got it from her, her own femoral head you you under rim by 2 mm usually is gonna yes generally after this uh, hemispherical cups have come mm. uh, the reaming uh, olden days we used to do now it is a uh, one or less i mean i don't know about the design i never used this cup so maybe fine i just yeah in the, uh, in this design it looks like uh, more uh, sometimes i go same size I, i i mean i check it and then decide trial kudupa Uh, 48 then eh? this is just to impact the bone graft yeah hit it hmm. Hmm. okay Okay. Put it on. Shell. Okay. Mm. 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 Go on, go on. Sir, sir, excuse me, sir. From here it appears to be it's in slightly retroverted position to me. In the, 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 in
the camera will always look like that yeah so yeah okay now we'll let roll upon okay sorry what was the question no no the camera it looks like it is uh, the angle is not right but uh, this angle the other picture in picture shows the version version okay. there was a doubt okay okay so it is now it was clarified yeah suction sir wash kodu ma Okay. Now with the trial it went in bit more deeper that's why I'm trying to hit it more. Looks fairly stable. We'll hit some more and then suction mm. okay mm. yeah it's antivation is slightly less than what i sort of worked for but anti wall is fairly deficient there so much exposed center wall probably that's why it's went in but i think it is still in a acceptable situation hit it please Sugonam, do you always allow your assistant to hit the cup? Yes, I hold it tight. Yes. And uh, the person from here, they have to hit it. It's a bit worrying that uh, somebody new might hit it a little harder. Well, I, I have the, both the hands, so I know. <laughs> Usually, I, uh, my regular assistant hits it, so. All right. Okay. So, every hit I direct it. When I say yes only, they can do again. Okay. Do it, yeah. we don't have actually heavy hammer kind of perisenga padanalu ivlo is it a cluster hole cup or multi hole it's a three hole three, three. okay hit it hit it okay that's fine see this uh, with the trials it went in bit more one or two mill millimeter so i'm just trying to hit it more it's not really going it's stuck but the trial was done before the bone graft was put. that's correct yeah but uh, so bone graft has lateralized one or two millimeter it's i suppose possible. but i cannot really go back and remove it and all that probably i lateralized one or two millimeters but the fit is good yeah the anti version is about 10 degrees 15 is the one i hope for wash kuduma but because of the fit i got it i i think i have to i will accept this dalma what's the direction you are aiming at this screw this is uh, 12 okay. 12 o'clock
ட்வெண்ட்டி ஃபைவ் எடுத்துக்கப்பா ட்வெண்ட்டி That is the tile exposed and uh, can we just see now? Sorry? The tile transverse. Tile. Can we see that or uh, difficult? No, that is in addition to the tile, there's a lot of fibrous tissues are there. Okay. No, it's not exposed. Right, sir. Okay. It's not exposed. Okay. That's the capsule. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Screw. Now, the tile is well exposed, you, you mean... it's a higher hip center yeah yeah or you might have closed the cup no it's after the bone graft i think we have uh, i should have probably use the rima then upon probably i should have used the reamer in a reverse direction that might have uh, got it the model is that sir oh not using the flexible screwdriver ஃபார்ட்டி சிக்ஸ் ரீமர் கொடுங்க அந்த கப் மவுஸ் ஐ எம் நாட் ஹாப்பி ஸோ லெட் மீ ரீம் அகைன் அண்ட் கெட் அ பெட்டர் ஃபிட் ஃபார்ட்டி சிக்ஸ் ஃபார்ட்டி ஃபோர் கொடுப்ப ஃபர்ஸ்ட் next to 46 or gloves put on the reverse one okay cover go to 48 This is 48 in reverse.
okay get it okay Rima, Sardar. Section two, the whole one. Section one. Okay, it is well buried. One more. Drill.
is not in the right direction sir a question to the chairperson um say yes sir so this being a dysplastic case we understand <coughs> that he has difficulty in uh, placing the cup on the first uh, instance so we have uh, screwed it we have taken it out and again we are going in um in, for a regular case uh, would you do if if you are in this situation that the cup is not going in uh, would you take it out and do it again or how would you do it or if you want to do it one more time uh, what precaution would you take basically the cup has to seat uh, snug fit if it is not you can't just rely on screws alone so you reduce the size of the reamer 2 mm deepen it if possible and make sure the cup is stable anterior posteriorly or supra inferior at least one one dimension it has to fit the theater audio can be cut so that we can have a discussion yeah. maybe maybe once the case is over we will discuss yeah, it what is the final orientation of cup it's about 10 degree antiversion inclination i would think about 40 the camera it looks something more retroverted more retroverted retroverted something like that the camera position may be no. no sir it is always like that in a see th this is the center this is i am holding the leg the opposite leg which okay. is straight sir it will be usually like that so it will thing. be only the surgeon and the drill port in the screw eduthirala so here we cannot say at all sir only surgeon sai view surgeons yeah the second screw is not fitting well so i'm putting the third screw probably i'll remove the screw after that fits well and then you'll put the second screw again sorry so you'll put the first screw and then you'll try to remove and put the reposition the second screw yeah i put yeah. the third screw third screw and then you try to reposition, reposition it yeah. yes or else it may toggle why instead of a flexible screw driver they give a straight screw driver yeah. so. you have that also yeah 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 no this just a mistake
Straight one makes the surgeon flexible. Now this handle is not artificial. No? I think you may hit that. I am suspecting the statement pin is uh, in the way. So I am removing that. Okay, it was not a perfect fit, but I think I got away. We'll see. The version is okay, inclination is okay. Usually I put two screws if I'm not happy, but here I put three screws. I think bone graft has set in well. The outer rim is to this uh, outer cortex, probably one or two more millimeter prominent. Good. Okay, I am happy with that. I think this is what I could achieve from uh, where we started. Good. Okay, we are going for a line up. So it's a neutral liner? Or? It's a neutral liner, yes. Good, all soft tissues completely gone. Now run the to go Yeah, hit it. Hmm. Oh. No, no. Good. Okay, so that's seated well. So that will be taking a 32 head ceramic. Yeah. See, time wise, we are uh, much behind the schedule. The femur is going to be a regular cemented one, what uh, Satish demonstrated. May I suggest you carry on with the lectures? We'll re record it and uh, put it back. Or you can come in between once you are going to… Yeah, that's right. Yes. Or a half… or a, can have one talk and Few then talks. come back yes. or else 
or else we'll be running really late yeah, that's fine yes. that's okay. thank you sugars for thank the demonstrating good such a difficult case so patiently and how to deal with the problems if you have intraoperatively thank you thank you